This is by far one of the best armor sets that you can get at the beginning of your playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom, and it completely eliminates fall damage. This is a brand new set in Tears of the Kingdom, and every piece that you equip is going to provide you skydiving mobility up. And in a game where you're constantly falling from the sky, this is pretty self-explanatory why you absolutely need this. Which, when you get three levels of this, allows you to explore the map significantly faster than you would be able to with just the glider alone. And if you unlock the Great Fairies and level this up to level two, you're going to get complete immunity to fall damage at any height. Spoiler alert, I've already got a video on how to unlock all of the Great Fairies in Tears of the kingdom. Once you enter free roam and unlock your first sky view tower, you're going to want to start heading northwest. You're going to cross this bridge and head up to this plateau right here to the Lindor's Brow sky view tower. Once here, start a fire in the grass and then use your paraglider to launch yourself over the moat. Climb up to the tower, unlock it, and then yeet yourself into the sky. As you're going up, start looking to your left. And you're going to notice this tower of rocks going into the sky. Once it gives you a chance, go ahead and open up your paraglider and start heading for this island right here. Touch the little ring hole thingy to activate a green circle that pops over the edge. Walk up to this green circle, jump off the edge, and start diving down and following all of the rings on your way down until you land in the water below. Make sure to not miss one or you're going to have to do this process again. If you did it right, there should be a cutscene for a shrine unlocking in this area. Once you get out of the water, look for a steward construct that's going to tell you about these trials that you need to do about falling through the freaking sky. This is exactly what we want to do. Give him a Zonai charge and he's going to teleport you back up to the beginning, where now you have a time trial to go through all of these rings. Alright, so since I just did this, I feel pretty confident that I can... Oh, there's clouds in the way this time. Ooh, this is a lot more fun when you do it faster. Ooh, I almost missed. Oh, did I get it? Oh, 35 seconds, easy peasy. As long as you can fall real good in under 35 seconds, then you're gonna be rewarded with the glider shirt. The next one's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get to. You're gonna wanna head north to the Typhlo Ruins Skyview Tower. Once you unlock it and launch yourself out of it, you're going to immediately want to start turning around and activating your glider. So we're gonna turn around, activate the glider, and there is a shrine right there that you can unlock. I recommend doing that because you might wanna end up back up here eventually anyways. And depending on how much stamina you have, you might actually want to stop at this island anyways, because we got a little bit of a ways to be able to fly. That's why it's a little bit more complicated to get to this one. You can build a Zonai device to get down there or up to the top if you want. But essentially what we need to do is go for this island right down here. So you're going to want to alternate between gliding and diving at this point because you already have one piece of the armor. You should have some good forward momentum when you're diving. And we're just going to aim right for this island, probably that pool of water. Once you land on the island, talk to the steward construct. If you didn't dive from the top of the island the first time, he's going to give you a trial. Complete this trial, talk to him again to get the actual challenge, and dive through all of these rings in under 35 seconds to unlock your next piece of the glide suit. Now the third and final piece of this armor set is going to be a little bit more complicated to get to, only because the island to get to it is a little bit farther away from the Skyview Tower than all the other ones. If you head over to the far east side of the map and go to the Mount Lanaru Skyview Tower, I'm sure I mispronounced that, uh, but you're going to want to launch out of this one, and then you're going to want to try and land on this island right here. So you're going to be launching up from this area, and then you want to try and glide over here or to one of these islands, but essentially you're going to want to try and get to this one right here. And then thankfully on this island, there's going to be this already kind of pre-built structure that we can use with a bunch of batteries on it. And thankfully it's got a control system on it. So once we turn this bad boy on, we can actually fly directly down to the island that we need to go to to do this last challenge, which is right down here. So essentially we kind of just want to take this over this way and we're going to keep flying until we can at least jump off of this and kind of dive our way down to that island this looks pretty good so we can jump from here glide down and we can land right in this pool down here and just like the other ones we have 35 seconds to complete this as quick as possible now with the clouds and everything it's going to be a little bit more difficult than all the other ones so definitely having this mobility stuff on is going to be very helpful that's why i recommend doing this one very last especially if you want to try and do it as fast as possible there we go, we got one more ring. 
definitely not bad with two pieces. Oh, now we've got the Glide Mask. This gives us tier three of the Skydive mobility up. Now that you've got all three pieces of the glider suit, you shouldn't have any problems navigating the world at your leisure. But do keep in mind you won't unlock the ability to negate all fall damage until you level up all the pieces of armor to level 2. So make sure to check out my video on unlocking all the great fairies, and maybe check out the one on acquiring the Hylian Shield at the beginning of the game too.